Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to be sharing my new favorite pen for snow. You may have seen a test I did of a whole bunch of different pens recently over on my other channel. I'll link you to that at the end. But I'm using this stamp set from Darcy's, and this particular sentiment is one that got me inspired. And I took two of the penguins and the gift and the sled and made a little scene out of them because, you know, I make scenes. That's what I do. So there you go. So these cute little penguins, very different styles of drawing and shapes and stuff for them, but they work really well on the card. Just note that one doesn't have feet, the other one does. So I hid the one without feet behind the hat and masked him out. Isn't that cute? So I'm using my Copic markers to color this and I'm coloring on Nina cardstock as I always do. I use the 80 pound, not the 110 had a few people ask recently why I don't use that one because they don't like the fact that it bleeds through on the 80 pound but Copic marker blends within the fibers of the paper and that's why I use it because I like the way it blends. On the 110 I tend to get ink pooling on the surface a little bit more often especially with dark colors. It happens much more with dark colors than with light. So I am just kind of moving along with my coloring here. Now that top little penguin. You could actually do him as a snowman. At first I felt bad thinking that he was a penguin or coloring him like a penguin because I thought maybe he's supposed to be a snowman and then I realized no he's supposed to be a penguin. He just doesn't have feet. So you could color him in white and just put some kind of bluish snowy shadows around the little heart shape around his face. That one on the top if you would like and make him one. Make him a uh, snowman instead of a penguin. You do the same thing with the bottom one, just cut off his feet, put his feet in the snow, and make him all white. And that would be kind of cute. Maybe I'll do that sometime. Who knows? Anyway, I'll stop blathering and get back to what I'm coloring here. You may notice that I use, when I do dark colors, like grays, I don't use a really light color for my highlight color. I actually use a darker kind of black or gray color when I'm coloring black because I don't want super white highlights. White highlights are for things that are supposed to be shiny. So if these were made of plastic, then certainly, absolutely add some really strong white highlights. Or there are some people that just love that look and that's perfectly fine too. But I like it to look a little more natural if it's possible for penguins stacked on top of each other to be natural. So there you go. One of the fun things about putting this together and the whole little idea for a scene was that, you know, hope your Christmas is piled high with fun. I thought it would be fun to pile a lot of different things. You could use that sentiment with a lot of different stuff that you already have and just pile them up and let them be kitty wampus like this. I let them be kind of all over the place so I didn't worry about getting everything straight so that they're more playful. I thought that would be a lot more fun and a lot easier to do. And I do have another sample for you at the end of this video so you can check out a different one that I did with these same stamps. But you could do it with a lot of them with that sentiment. So getting the stamp set with the sentiment is important because, you know, it's all about having the right things to go with the right things. So I'm coloring the bottom little guy with two colors, with a blue and a purple, and the top one with more of a teal. And then I'm going to use the colors from the bottom one to do the package on the top. You could also stamp more of the packages in their hands and all different kinds of stuff too. You can make a really tall card, like a letter size, business letter size card, and totally go crazy and make giant piles of all kinds of critters. I think that would be hilarious. I'm going to use a technique for the background that I've used before in videos, and I'll try to link you to that video at the end, where I just make swooshes of color. And even though I put them on the screen, Literally, just use whatever blues and stuff that you have. You can do this in purples. I think the one I did in the other video had pinks and stuff in it. And just have fun with it. This is supposed to make it look like they're whooshing through the snow. And literally, you can have all different kinds of fun colors to make it look like this. It's a matter of using enough ink on the background to really fill the whole thing and, and to make it full of saturated ink color and right around the edges where they kind of crisscross each other just go over them a little bit don't stress out about oh my gosh it has to be perfectly blended 
So we're going to add a ton of snow on top of it. This is just to give that undercoat of whooshing wind so that when the snow is on top, it's going to look really cool to have all that in the background, all that color. So I'm just about done. I'm going to add a little bit of snow underneath of them, just a little shadow there. And then go over a few of the colors just a little bit more. And I decided I wanted to have also a little bit of shading on these guys. So I'm just going to put some shading on the side and make the light come from one particular direction. I don't even think that's the same direction I had everything else now that I'm looking at it. But it won't matter, right? How about that? You can have two directions of lighting in the same thing and nobody's going to know by the end. So I'm going to show you what it looks like if I use my Uniball Signo pen. And pardon my big hand in the way. But this other pen that I tested out recently is a Sharpie pen. And it is way better for those who have trouble with the Uniball Signo pen. It also makes bigger dots. Now this is a water-based, I believe, pigment inside this pen, whatever it is. So it's going to soften. You know, it's not going to be really hard edge. It's not going to be super, super white. However, if you don't know any different, you're going to be just fine with it. It's literally only if you're looking at it in direct comparison with another kind of white pen that you might realize it's not as white. But the thing that I love about it is that this sucker just keeps working. You don't have to shake it. You don't have to write on your hand to get it started again. So even though I do love my Signo Uniball pens, and I'll probably still use them, this thing is just way easier. The pen also comes in other colors and stuff too, so who knows, I may get a set of them and play with them some more. But I thought it was really fun. So let's take a really close look. Those, those little tiny dimensional ones that you see right directly under the sentiment, that's the Signo Uniball pen. So you can see how soft and flat the Sharpie is next to that. There's just a little tiny difference, but literally you're the only one who's going to know that it's not what that Signo Uniball is. Because look how great it still looks. To finish off my card, all I added was a white layer behind it and then put it onto some blue cardstock. And I love when a card looks really simple to the eye. The images are really straightforward and contrasty, but you know how much love was put into it, which is really fun. I promised you another example, so I took the Santa Claus from the stamp set and then I re-stamped a bunch of times gift packages, colored them in different colors, and I used a background from the City Sidewalks class over at artclasses.com. If you haven't taken that one yet and you want to learn how to do some city sidewalk type Christmas backgrounds, please feel free to go check that out. Link in the doobly-doo. And that's about it for today. I will see you guys later. Enjoy some more videos. And there's the video for the, uh, the snow test if you want to see some other products that I tested out with white snow. Okay, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.